So now that we've started to build out our break-even analysis, net income analysis, one of the things we can do is we obviously still want to be playing with our numbers, just give or take, a, you know, mess around with them. One of the things we can use is actually known as the scenario manager. Now the scenario manager is exactly that. We're taking, instead of just arbitrarily throwing these numbers on things, we could now start to play around with it and say, well, let's kind of see, you know, what we'd be able to work with. Well, let's see what kind of uh, different scenarios we might be working off of. So let's go ahead and pull up the scenario manager. We can do that with the what if analysis again. And this first one we're going to focus in on is just known as my status quo. You know, this is everything is normal, nothing's uh, out of this world. We're just saying here's our here's our base generic version. So my change on changing cells. The changing cells is actually going to be a few different things. It's actually going to be one my B4 and B5, my average price and unit sold. And it's actually going to be my fixed expenses. You know, what happens if, say, for example, I'm able to take these numbers and I'm able to uh, shrink them up? Uh, I can find I, I have to fire someone, or you know, I don't like to, but I maybe spend more on advertising. Those types of things. Nothing in the variable cost changes because these are actually dependent on units sold. So when I hit OK, one of the things you see is all the numbers are already set in place. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I want to design out a, a scenario. What happens if, say for example, you know, uh, I need to cut my costs. I need to cut everything down just by a hair, but I, I still need to cut it down. So this first one, this first option I'm going to call is reduced operations. I want to use the exact same cells if for example, you may have accidentally gotten A1 here. All you have to do is delete it. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now again, this is one of those nice things. Instead of it uh, just arbitrarily wondering where to go, all of those cells have been named, uh, at least I've named them in uh, off the video and I can now change them. So suddenly unit sold. What if it was at a 500? What happens if uh, I sold them at $2,000? What happens if my uh, salary, I didn't have as many people, so I'm only bringing in, oh, I'm only spending a little bit uh, on salary. I'm only, I'm spending a lot on advertising because you know I gotta get people, I gotta get foot traffic in the door, so 30,000 on uh, that. Let me just make sure, yeah, 30,000. Administrative. Uh, again, I don't have that many people, so I pull that in. Miscellaneous, again, that's knock that down as well. So when I hit OK, nothing happens. That's fine, though. That's just, it's a scenario that we've played in. I'm going to add one more in, and then we'll actually take a look at them. What happens if we're doing a sale? You know, it's, uh, in this case, you know, for my sake, it's the summer, so we're doing a summer sale. People want to get on their bikes and ride up and down the beach. Why not? So kept everything the same, but we're going to project that we're going to sell a buttload of these things at a very reduced cost, $18,000. We're, we're pretty much, if you kind of see over here, uh, you know, we were pretty much selling at a loss until at 1900 at 1800 we're going to be pretty much selling at a loss the entire time but again it's sales trying to get people uh, in so again we're going to mess around with this we'll go ahead and say we've got a few more people one more uh, was brought in during the summer uh, advertising is a huge thing because we're doing a sale so we're going to say that I'm going to spend 70,000 towards that administrative again not too terribly much we don't need uh, a lot of stuff and may, uh, miscellaneous again we'll just arbitrarily say some numbers here when I hit OK now I have these three different scenarios the status quo when everything is normal reduced operations when I need to cut back summer sale I need to kind of pump out a lot more uh, sales 
So if I want to look at any one of these, let's say for example I want to look at reduced operations. I put in these numbers. Now all I have to do is select this show option. And you'll see I actually get to see all of that come in together. So I can see this scenario with visual aid without having to duplicate my slides or do anything of that nature. It's all readily available to me. Same kind of thing. I can run my summer sale. You see I have a really low break even point here, but I'm not making a lot of money. My summer sale, well, I have an even higher break point and I'm not making a lot of money, but it's an advertising technique. Then I can resort back to my show status quo and it allows me to, once again, have scenarios that I can play out without adjusting any of my numbers.